grannies, grandpas, um, uh, whoever's, you know, in charge. Uh, one thing that I hear a lot from parents is that my child doesn't like to write. My child fusses about doing their writing homework or, um, my child, you know, never wants to do the writing and I've had to pull my hair out and all that kind of stuff. What can I, or, you know, what can I do to encourage my child to write and do their writing homework or, you know, just something along those lines. And so, um, I want to just kind of talk to you a minute about just a couple of things that I've suggested over the years and that I've actually had parents come back and say, man, that was great. It worked. It was fun. The, my kid enjoyed it. Um, so I want to show some of those to you. I know right now with our current situation that they're encouraging, you know, just one person to go to the store. Um, in the past, I, I've encouraged, you know, the mom, the dad, or the parents, whatever, you know, to, to take the child with them. Um, but here's how your child can still do a writing activity that would be fun for them. And, um, you know, maybe not go to the grocery store with you. So you can tell your child, hey, I'm going to be going to the grocery store. If you write down four things that you want, I'll see if I can pick them up for you. Okay. Now you need to explain to them, you know, here's a paper, here's a pencil. Write down four things you want. Whatever you write down, I will try to get for you. But if you don't write it down, I'm not getting it. It's not going to come home. Okay? So that usually gets the kids real excited to think, oh, good, I can pick out four things. Okay? Now, you're going to obviously have to sit there with them, give a little guidance. Understand, I didn't say... Tell them how to spell it. I don't want you, you know, telling them what they have to write. Give them a little guidance because I don't know what you allow your child to have from the store. And I don't know your budget, things like that. Okay. So if I'm the child and my parent is sitting down with me and says, hey, I'm going to be going to the store later today. If you'll write down four things you would like for me to get for you, I'll take your list to the store and I'll pick them up. Here's what I, I would want to see happen. Okay, mom or dad or grand, whoever's you. Um, could I get chips? Sure, I think we could get a bag of chips. Okay. Ch. My teachers taught me that ch is C -H, ch -ch. Eh. S ch. Chips. Okay. All right, good. I see you have one thing on your list. How many more can you add? I can still put three more things. That's right. Can I get ice cream? Well, let's think of something healthy this time. Because you already put chips. So let's try to put something healthy. Okay. What about apples? Sure. How do I spell apples? Oh, you know what? I bet if you use your sounds, I'll know exactly what you want. I'm sorry, I'm not going to spell it for you. All right. Ah. App. App all. App alls. Is that how you spell apples? No, but. You used your sounds, and now when I go to the store, I'll be able to use myself, and I'll know exactly what you want. 
Good job. All right. So, can I have a toy? Can I ride a toy? Not this time. Okay. Can I, oh, can I get cereal? Sure, is there a certain kind of cereal? Mm-hmm, can I get Lucky Charms? Sure, I think we can get Lucky Charms. Okay. Oh. Uh. Is it the C or the K? Because they both, they both say K. That's right, they do both say K. So, you can write the C or the K, right? I'll still know what you mean. But which one's right? Mm. Well, since they both say ka, you could put either one and it'd still be okay. Because remember in kindergarten, your teacher says you're just using your sounds. It's okay that it's not spelled correctly. Okay. I just, I guess okay. Oh, uh, e charms. Ch, R, M, S, Lucky Charms. All right, it looks like you have three things. How many more can you add? I can add one more thing. That's right, you can add one more thing. Um, hmm. Can I get that ice cream? How about we get you a small ice cream cup? Okay, but you have to write ice cream. Okay, ice cream cup er em. All right, mom, there's my list. Okay, I'll take that to the store and I will get your items since you wrote your list. Way to go. All right, so that's one way that my parents have told me that their kids have had fun, they've sat down together and noticed that the dialogue was very respectful, um, very honest, and um, so now the parent would take that and go to the store and bring these four items back. And for it to work, you know, please really try to bring those items back. And um, that way they know, oh my gosh, okay, that really works. So if I really write down a few things that I want, then I'm, then I possibly, I really get that. Okay, that works. All right, here's another thing that you can practice and um, it, it looks like it's about to rain outside, so I'm not going to go out and, um, and do this one. But on a nice day, you and your child can take a cup of water or a bowl of water or whatever. And a paintbrush, if you have a paintbrush at home. A sponge, if you don't have a paintbrush. And you can go outside on the driveway or on the sidewalk and... Your child can practice writing their letters if they're in pre-K. Um, they can, if they're in kindergarten, they need to practice sight words. Let them practice their sight words by dipping their um, paintbrush or sponge in the bowl or cup of water and then writing. So for demonstration purposes, we'll pretend that we're outside and I'm on my driveway and I dip my paintbrush or my sponge in the water. And if I'm a pre-K student, maybe I'm just painting the sidewalk with my letters. And they just get so excited to see that letter appear just using water. Maybe I'm in kindergarten and up, here comes Al again. And I dip my paintbrush or my sponge 
and I have my sight words or my spelling words or whatever your teacher uses at your school, and I'm going to practice Painting my sight words on the driveway or on the sidewalk. Okay? And they're outside, they are getting fresh air, they're moving around, and they really just have such a great time seeing those letters appear as they paint. So they're in, it doesn't have to always just be words. Maybe they need to practice writing numbers. Dip that paintbrush. Let them practice writing those numbers. Okay? So many options there. Sky's the limit. So there are two fun ways that have uh, worked for my parents over the many years that I've been teaching. So give those two a try. I'll be back with some more later. Thanks.